Hello everyone, I welcome you all to my channel WINS Academy for Competitive Exams. If you study to remember, you will forget. But if you study to understand, you will remember. So understanding the concepts is very very essential in clearing the competitive exams. Now let us start our session on problems in vector analysis, divergence, curl and gradient. So first problem. Which of the following is zero as applied to electromagnetic fields? Option A, gradient divergence of A vector. Option B, divergence gradient of A vector. Option C, divergence curl A vector. And option D is curl curl A vector. Here we have to remember one thing that is divergence of curl is always equal to zero. Similarly, curl or gradient is always equal to zero. So from this Option C is the right answer. That is, divergence of curl A vector is the right answer. So, second problem. The value of divergence D at origin if D vector is equal to e power minus x sin y A x vector minus e power minus x cos y A y vector plus 2 z A z vector. Option A answer is 1, option B 0, option C 2 and option D is 4. Now here we have to remember the formula that is divergence. Divergence means del dot d vector. So del dot d vector is equal to dou dx divided by dou x plus dou dy divided by dou y plus dou dz divided by dz. So we, here we have to differentiate dx with respect to dou x dy with respect to dou y and d z with respect to dou z. After that we have to add the answers. So we will get del dot d vector is equal to 2. That is your final answer. Third problem. If a vector is equal to 2 i x vector plus 4 i y vector minus 3 i z vector then what is a vector dot i x vector plus a vector dot i y vector plus a vector dot i z vector. So here the i x vector, i y vector and i z vector are the unit vectors. So already we have seen, just we can recall it. i x vector dot i y vector is equal to i y vector dot i z vector is equal to i z vector dot i x vector is equal to 0. That is dot product of different unit vectors is equal to 0. If you are taking dot product of same unit vector then its value is equal to 1. So from that we get the answer as 3. So it is option B. So fourth question. Which of the statement is correct? So here we have to identify which statement is correct. So option A. A vector cross B vector plus B vector cross A vector is equal to 1. Option B i x vector cross i y vector is equal to i z vector. Option C, i x vector dot i y vector is equal to i z vector. And option D, a vector dot b vector dot c vector is equal to b vector dot c vector dot a vector. So already we have learned, just we can recall it, that is cross product of unit vectors. If you are taking the cross product of same unit vectors, you, uh, we will be getting the answer as 0 and the different unit vector means you will be getting the remaining answer that is i x vector cross i y vector is equal to i z vector and i y vector cross i z vector is equal to i x vector and i z vector cross i x vector is equal to i y vector. So from this we can say option B as the right answer. Next question. If r vector is equal to x i x vector plus y i y vector plus z i z vector is the position vector of the point x y z and r is equal to modulus of r vector. What is the value of del r? Del r means here we have to find the gradient of r. So here we have to remember the definition for position vector. So position vector means a vector drawn from the origin to any arbitrary point P of x, y, z is called the position vector. Okay. Now del r vector is equal to dou r by dou x into i x vector plus dou r by dou y into i y vector 
plus do r by do is it into i is a vector. In the problem, it is given r is equal to modulus of r vector. So, modulus of r vector means it is the magnitude. So, how we will find the magnitude? It is equal to root of x square plus y square plus z square. So, from this, we can calculate what is do r by do x, do r by do y, do r by do z. That is, we are going to differentiate r with respect to x, y and z. And finally, find out this sum. So, the answer is option A, R vector divided by R. R vector is x i x vector plus y i y vector plus z i z vector. The operator del is a vector space function, vector time function, scalar space function, scalar time function. So, already we have seen the operator del is a vector differential operator. So, it is a vector space function. Option A is the right answer. In this problem, given a vector field E vector is equal to 3x square y z i x vector plus x cube z i y vector plus x cube y minus 2 z i z vector. Which type of field E is? Here they are asked to find which type of field. So, already we have seen what is the condition for a irrotational vector as well as solenoidal vector. So, it's, if it is a solenoidal vector means then del dot d value should be equal to 0. So, here if we find del dot e vector the answer is 6 x y z minus 2. So, it is not a solenoidal vector. Similarly, if divergence value is not equal to 0 means then it is also called as divergence less. So, it is not a divergence less. So, finally, we can find the curl of the vector that is del cross E. So, here del cross E is equal to 0. So, it is rotational. If it is rotational, it is a conservative field. So, the option D is the right answer, conservative field. If you understood the problems, kindly subscribe my channel and share with your friends. In the next video, we will see Coulomb's law. Let us understand and grow.